He arrived. The newest member of the mini line is already in DJI authorized stores and has a scheduled launch date for September 17th. And as this date gets closer, the leaks are also increasing. That's why I decided to make this video summarizing the main highlights that appeared in these posts. Let's start by talking about the combos and their respective prices. And the good news is that DJI will adopt an aggressive pricing strategy. And although this drone is more modern and has more functions and accessories, it will launch these combos with prices very similar to those of the Mini 4 Pro. In other words, the Mini 4 Pro will probably be sold at a discount soon, because it will not make sense to buy an older model for the same price as a current launch, which is more modern and powerful. The Mini 5 Pro will be sold in four versions. The first is the most complete Fly More combo, which will have the RC2 controller, with screen, and 3 Plus batteries. The second Fly More combo will also have the RC2 controller and 3 batteries, but they will be the standard model. The third Fly More combo is the more affordable it will have the RC N3 controller, without screen, and 3 standard batteries. And the last one is not a Fly More combo, it will only have the drone with one standard battery and the RCN3 controller. Now let's see the items of each combo and their respective prices. Let's start with the most complete Fly More combo, with the RC2 controller and plus battery. The drone seems to be the same for all combos, as we haven't had any information that it will have different versions, as was the case with the Mavic Creator, which is a differentiated drone that comes with more internal memory. It is also possible to see that this drone will have a large gimbal protector, which will cover the entire front of the drone and will attach to the rear part, also holding the propellers. And here we have a sequence of equipment that will apparently be the same as the previous models, starting with the RC2 controller. This is excellent news, because DJI has a long tradition of incompatibility between equipment from previous versions, but now it seems that, fortunately, they made the right decision, as this controller is very practical and powerful, it uses O4 technology, which is very reliable and has a range of 20 kilometers, in addition to being compatible with other previous models. We also had another unexpected surprise. The batteries and the intelligent charger have exactly the same shape as the Mini 4 Pro, Mini 3 Pro, and Mini 3. We don't know if this equipment will be fully compatible with each other, but physically they seem to be the same, and this will make a lot of people happy. The Mini 5 Pro will have two battery models. The Plus, which will come in this combo, will provide an amazing 52 minutes of flight time, but it will make the drone heavier, exceeding 250 grams. The other battery will be a standard model, which will keep the drone under 249 grams and provide a flight time of 36 minutes. And to complete this combo, we will have the bag and three more pairs of spare propellers, which are now the new quick-release model, much better than the previous ones, which use screws for attachment. And here a novelty appeared, a kit with three ND filters, now they will also be included in the Fly More combo. If the leaks are correct, this combo with the three plus batteries should have a price very similar to the Mini 4 Pro Plus combo, which currently costs $1,159. The second Fly More combo will have the same items as the previous one. The only difference is that it will come with three batteries in the standard model, with 36 minutes of flight time each. This combo will cost a little less, around $1,100. And we will still have two cheaper versions, the basic Fly More combo, which will have exactly the same items as the previous combos, but will come with the RCN3 controller, which doesn't have a screen, and three standard batteries, with 36 minutes of flight time. The price has not been announced, but I believe it should be around $850. And in the most economical version, it will come with only the drone, one battery, and the RCN3 controller. This version should cost $750. Now let's talk about a new feature that will probably come in the Mini 5 Pro. The recently leaked images have better resolution 
and now it was possible to notice a new button on the side of the drone. Everything leads us to believe that it will give access to the QuickShot's flight modes, without the need for a controller. This feature was launched with the Neo, which has this button on the front. It is also present on the Flip, which has the same button on the side of the drone. This was a highly desired function by many series users, as it is a very useful feature for those who just want to make videos and photos quickly and easily, with pre-programmed and precise movements. It is also very likely that the Mini 5 Pro will be prepared for other ways of control, operating directly through the app or by voice command. Hey Fly, take a drony. This function is also present on the Neo and Flip and has been very successful. This leak was also interesting. It is a table comparing the main specifications of the Mini 4 Pro with those of the Mini 5 Pro. Let's see the main highlights. The 1-inch sensor of the Mini 5 Pro will have approximately 20 megapixels. I found this strange, because the Mini 4 Pro already has 48 megapixels, and I don't believe that a bigger and more modern sensor would have a lower resolution. We will have to wait for the launch to better understand this mystery. It will shoot in 4K at 120 FPS, which is excellent as it allows for beautiful slow motion footage. Here's another interesting detail. It can also shoot in 5.4K at 30 FPS. For comparison, this is higher than the Mavic 3 Pro, which shoots in 5.1K, and only falls short of the Mavic 4 Pro, which shoots in 6K. And here we have another highlight. It will have a lens with a large 1.7 aperture, which is ideal for low-light environments, and a hybrid autofocus system, which will enable fast and precise focus to capture moving objects with greater sharpness. We already know that the camera will be able to rotate a real 225 degrees, but depending on the drone's movement, the gimbal can reach up to 330 degrees in total. Another novelty that nobody is talking about, the Mini 5 Pro will be compatible with the OkiSync 4 Plus transmission system, which has a range of 25 or 30 kilometers, and it is the same system used by the Mavic 4 Pro, which means that theoretically it will also be compatible with the RC Pro 2 controller. And therefore nothing prevents DJI from releasing a Mini 5 Pro Creator Combo in the future. I had already made a video about this possibility two months ago. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave the link at the end of this video. We also had this leak with the release of the prices of the Mini 5 Pro accessories. And the prices were surprising, as some items are cheaper than those of the Mini 4 Pro. The standard battery will be sold for $69. The Plus battery will be sold for $99. The charger will cost $49. A spare propeller kit will cost $19. The propellers with guards will cost $69. And the ND filter set will cost $55. From this list, the only item that will not come in any combo is the propellers with integrated guards. This accessory is an innovation from DJI, and was made exclusively for the Mini 5 Pro, which will be the first drone to have a quick-release propeller with a guard built in. Notice that they have a differentiated design, with these triangular surfaces at the tips. The guards also have some tabs and strategic points, which are probably devices to compensate for lift and reduce noise. This was a summary of the main news that appeared in the latest leaks about the Mini 5 Pro. Now all that's left is to hold back our excitement and wait for September 17th, when the most powerful Mini of all time will finally be revealed. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.